how to finish a small weaving with loom. What you'll need is your small weaving, scissors, tapestry needle, a rod, four to five inches. This could actually be driftwood as well or wood, whichever you like. A small piece of felt, this is optional, and fabric glue, this is also optional as, as well. Let's get started. Okay, so now that you have your small weaving nearly in its complete pleated form, what you'll now do is with your last row here as you finish, I'm just gonna hem it close. So this is actually quite easy to do. Think about it more like sewing. So what I'll do is I'll go under both of my warp. So this will just wrap it around and then over. So again, see how I'm going under two warps in a row and then under one of the rows, one of the vertical weft rows here. And then I'm gonna stitch. Again, let's do that slowly. Under, under, under the weft. Okay. So you can see now there's, there's almost like a stitch that you, you begin to see like sewing. Again, under two wefts and under one warp, and then go. Okay. For the last one, you won't have anything to go under, so we'll, we'll vertically weave that in later, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So there's actually a, other ways to, to finish your weaving as well, so I'm just showing you one, one option. The other option is to actually just to go ahead and just cut your tail and then vertically weave in. I like this, this way the most, and I think I mentioned in the other, um, video that Marianne Moody has a great online tutorial, um, The Weaving Loom by Kate and Pat the Weaver. They both have great, great, great techniques and they delve um, in greater details into just the basics of weaving and I think those are great additional resources as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna unthread this and I'm gonna remove the, the weaving off the loom tool. So what you'll do is unwind when you can. If, if your piece is on really tight, if you made your warp really tight, you could actually just cut really close to the notches here. I've done it so that you could just pop this off fairly easily. Okay, so do this whole thing very gently. So now I'm gonna turn this over, then I'm gonna move this. Okay, set that aside. So you could see here in your weaving, see how these loops at the bottoms are here? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my needle and I'm actually just gonna gently push everything down. There's a couple ways you could do it as well. So you know what, if your needle doesn't work or it's just a little bit too tight, what I actually like to do is I like to actually pull on the two pieces up here that correspond to the loop on the bottom and they'll just naturally pull up for you. I'm gonna cut any loops that's on top here. That's gonna help facilitate me pulling everything. Getting a little bit tangled here when you work with yarn. You always have to be a little bit patient. Okay, now I'm gonna take these two and do the same thing. I'm gonna gently do this. So you can see now those loops are gone. I'm gonna do my final loops here. Okay, here we go. So they're perfect now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all your loose ends and vertically weave them in. And what that means is you're actually taking one end. Since my some of my ends are pretty short, I'm gonna actually weave, take my needle first and just going over under, just like a tabby stitch, like we went over in the other video. And taking your tail, here, and then just pulling through. Again, not too fast and not too tight. Just work gently first, never hurts. Never hurts to be a little gentle at first. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this one. So usually weave it in, depending on the, the yarn, Sometimes I do for just two stitch, uh, two rows, and sometimes I do for f three or four, depending. This yarn is a little bit more fickle, has a little bit, has a lot of strands to it. Okay. 
once you weave those in, I always like to cut and then this way I know those are done. Okay, so now that all of your loose ends and tails are weaved in, there are a couple ways for you to hang this on a rod. So one way of doing this is actually to vertically weave in all of these loose pieces around your rod. So I like to do it this way, especially for this small weaving because it's just kind of quick and easy and I'm actually going to mount it on a piece of felt which helps everything kind of stay together as well. So I find that to be really quick and it's just kind of an easy way to do it. If you actually want to, you can actually vertically weave everything in without the rod and then actually stitch another piece of string, whatever color yarn you like, onto between the weaving and the rod. So those are two ways to do it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start weaving those in. Okay, so I have all of those warp threads vertically weaved in. So pull them so that they are snug and they sit the way you like it to. That one was a little loose. And now trim the ends. So if you're gonna hang this on something that was gonna move around, you're gonna you know, wear as a necklace or put it on an inspiration board, um, I would recommend mounting it on a piece of felt. So usually what I'll do is I'll measure this out, cut a piece of felt. So this one I could tell it's a little bit too big, so I'll make it a little thinner. And 
We don't want it to show in the front, so. Then what you'll do is you'll take your glue and mount this on. All you have to do is hold it down for two, you know, two or three seconds and it'll start to adhere. If you wanna do it for longer, you can as well. And you have this totally adorable, colorful, amazing small weaving.